The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. What's up, fools? Caitlin Hicks here, America's favorite trans lesbian. Not like all those other ones. So today, the Carnegie Mellon University, I think Mellon stands for head, by the way, they uh, hooked up with Facebook and they want us all to take these COVID surveys with you know, 99%, 98% of people surviving this thing. Obviously, it's really dangerous, so uh, we should take the survey. And, oh, yeah. Notice that. Coincidence? I think not. Let's read through this thing. This voluntary survey is part of a research study led by the Delphi. Delphi? I don't know. I'm not educated enough to pronounce that. Group at Carnegie Mellon University, which I don't think is real. Even if you are healthy, your responses may contribute to a better public health understanding of the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Now, you want an understanding of the coronavirus pandemic, just uh, look at how to use a pandemic to take power and its effects on public health and well-being, which which are bad, taking power from people, that's bad on public health and well-being. This may help improve our local and national responses to the pandemic and our understanding of how it has affected society. I don't like that many ands in one sentence, especially from a university boy. It's no good. This survey is intended to take roughly 10 minutes to complete. We encourage you to complete the survey each time you are invited, even if you have participated before. Completing this survey again will help us understand how the situation is changing. Let's see, the survey questions do not request any personally identifiable information about you and your answers to all questions will remain confidential. The study is not conducted by Facebook and no individual responses will be shared back to Facebook. The only information we receive from Facebook is your language preference, a random ID number, and a statistical number to help ensure the results are representative for your area. Additionally, when asked to take the survey again, responses cannot be linked back to your previous survey responses. The de-identified results of the survey may be used for our future studies or shared with other investigators for their research studies. Oh, God, I'm already getting emails. (sighs) What the hell? Office hours are at 9. 6.47. You're texting me. Emailing me about this crap. Good lord. Let's see. Participate. I don't even remember what it was. Uh, Results published by us and other researchers will be in aggregate and will not identify individual participants or their responses. Participation poses no risk greater than those encountered during other online activities and no compensation is offered. Okay, no risk greater than those encountered during other online activities. But does that mean like browsing the dark web? Buying human beings from Cebu? I don't know what they mean by that. I'm not going to ask their questions, even though they say, if you have any questions, contact blah, 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 at blah, 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 blah. You must be 18 years old or older and located in the U.S. to take the survey. Are you 18 years older and currently located in the U.S.? All right. In the past 24 hours, have you or anyone in your household? Let's see. No fever. Someone gave me head. We smoke a lot. We're out of shape. Some of us here are old. Okay. Here, we'll say zero. Uh, how many people, including you, are currently staying in your household? Uh, let's say there's four. Um, this isn't true, by the way. We're lying to them. All right, we got 13 people here. What is your zip? My zip is two. 
just give a random California zip. How about that? Oh, how many additional? Oh, you can't just type it? I was going to type 1,000. How high will it go? <coughs> See, there's that cough. Ah! 254 people. Let's see. Which have we had? Runny nose? It's training for a marathon. Changes in sleep. I don't sleep because people keep emailing me stuff about work at all times of the day and morning. Muscle or joint aches? I did have a tear in my joint. Let's see, shortness of breath. We're out of... Oh, we got a drunk who lives here. Oh, I just eat too many cheeseburgers. Uh, sore throat. Like I said, the blowjob thing. Uh, we're out of shape. Nasal congestion. No, I'll leave that off. But we do got the chills, right? I got chills. They're multiplying. Tiredness or exhaustion. Loss of... No, no. I'll never give up my smell or taste. Eye pain. Ooh, diarrhea. Let's see. Herpes. Sores are bleeding. <laughs> uh, which symptoms are new and unusual for you? <laughs> nothing. They're all <laughs> uh, they're all normal things for me. Bleeding, herping, sores, and shortness of breath. Let's see, I've been tested. I haven't. Fuck that shit. Uh, have you wanted to be test? Have you wanted to be test? No, I haven't. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't know if I've been vaccinated. That's my answer right here. Uh, if a vaccine to prevent? No, I definitely would not. Which of the following, if any, are reasons you definitely wouldn't get? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not gonna get it later. I don't trust the government. Oh, yeah. about right. Yeah, I'll say the pregnancy thing too. I also don't like vaccines. That's also a true statement. And I'll just put other. Because uh, my bleeding herpes sores don't want me to take it. <laughs> uh, I don't believe COVID-19 is a serious illness. I'm not a member. That's probably not true. I don't. I'm like getting fat in my late 30s is a joke. I don't think vaccines are beneficial. I actually do think I already had COVID too. So there we go. Be more like <laughs> a bit less likely, less likely, about the same, less likely, about the same. There we go. How concerned are you that you would experience a side effect? Yeah, I'm not really concerned about it because I wouldn't take one. Let's see, uh... Ooh, I have been told I'm obese because I... I have been fat, you know? Cheeseburgers. Xbox. Not every year I looked like Vin Diesel. Hell, right now I'm looking like that Vin Diesel balcony pick again. Eh, I'm gonna put... No, I can't put none of these in obesity. We'll put obesity... And sure, we'll do high blood pressure. Why not? That sounds fun. Let's see. I've done this. 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 I haven't done that. I won't use that. I'd rather go to Dollar General. Did you wear a mask? 
Uh, no. I did not wear a face diaper in AOS. At work, let's see. Ten. Let's just... Well, I wonder if this will scare them. Oh my god, he doesn't wear a mask! Look at how many people he's been around! Here, other. Just one. <laughs> uh, none of the time. In the past seven days, when you're... Some of them were wearing masks. It's sad. I don't know why. I would trust the government. Oh. <laughs> then a lot of people are stupid. Or if they weren't, I might never get laid. What? Uh, to what extent are you intentionally avoid? Uh, none. Uh, no, I haven't. Let's see, I felt depressed all the time. I felt isolated from others none of the time, that's why I felt depressed. And... Here, we'll say I felt nervous, anxious, or on edge all of the time. Let's just paint a picture of great mental health. Oh, yeah, let's say we're very worried, because, you know, that makes no sense with our previous answers. Let's see, how worried are you that your household finances? Uh, uh not worried at all. Have you had a seasonal flu vaccination since July 1st, 2020? No, I don't like vaccines. <clears throat> we'll just say yes to all these. And we'll say they're all going to classes. Oh man, look at these use of s I don't even know. What's what do what do these fake kids do? I'm just going to say I don't know. That's an answer. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Trans lesbian bull. Not the animal. I'll just fuck your wife. Are you currently pregnant? I prefer not to answer that. Ooh. Well... I won't lie. I wouldn't want to lie. Uh, I've eaten enough Mexican food. I'll put yes. What is your race? Uh, white and some other race. It's kind of like a racist thing, right? Well, they care. It's the highest degree uh, less than high school. I actually got my GED, but we're lying on this thing. Do you smoke cigarettes? No. Did I do any kind of work for pay? Yes, I go to work. What the hell does that mean? Yes. <coughs> Ugh. I don't even know. What do we want to tell them? I'll tell them this. Tell them this. Oh, you can only pick one? Here, we'll just say I'm a computity and social worker. Computity? Police like to tell... There we go. Thank you for your protection. You may be invited to the survey again in the future. Carnegie Mellon University. They're a bunch of fruits. See what other joke answers I can come up with. Well, anyway. That was it. Now you know what the Carnegie Mellon University's survey is without having to take it yourself. <laughs>